Um, so thanks for coming. Um, I will talk about Galp and Bauer, if I pronounce it right. Uh, my name is Robert Deutsch. You see my Twitter handle, and maybe you know me already. Um, yeah, the program says this uh, session is about design. Um, this session isn't about design. Um, you see, I'm a developer, so you see that I put this picture on, on the slide to say it's not about design, because I think that's designed nicely. So that's all what I, what I can do about design. So it's, it's about lazy developers. So developers are, I think developers are lazy. I'm lazy, and I hope you too. Um, and what I will talk about is, is some tools and to make your life easier. And um, the tools are Gulp and Bauer, and we'll start with, with Bova. Um, and show you a little conversation I could have with my friend Brian. So you can use Bauer. What's Bauer? So that's a typical conversation about when you, when we talk about about all these tools. So you're you're installing new GS and npm to install this one, and you can do this and with and with Homebrew. We have package manager all, all over the place. So, um, but they all have a purpose, and the purpose for from our power is is it's um, packet manager for front end packages. So. Why in this case not using Composer? So we are a new developer, and we are developing for, for Joomla, and we are PHP developers. So we are very familiar with, with Composer. So, and, and the reason for this is um, use the tool for what it's built for. Composer is for PHP packages and not for front-end packages. There are jQuery and other packages in Composer in NPM. You can install it, but don't do it. Use the right tool for the right job. So now we next uh, is is Gulp, um, and again uh, a typical. So you don't ask. So um, essentially, this was in Spain at a, at a Spanish Juma day, and and we um, and. We talked about something totally different, and, and that's what we really talked about. So, um, so what is Gulp? Um, Gulp is a JavaScript task runner. You can run tasks with JavaScript. This helps you in some cases. And on the Gulp website, you will see they're saying automate and enhance your workflow. Try it. And that's what we are doing today. We tried. And um, it's the third time I, I, give, I give this presentation. Um, I did it in Germany, and I think it was OK. It was good, so I did it in, in the Netherlands. And I realized in the Netherlands that um, typing, speaking, and explaining in a foreign language is a bit complicated. So I did it a bit different um, here. Um, so I. I record all my typos, so I made videos about my all my typing. I did it. I don't do it live, but um, it's would you would you do it live? It would take roughly 30 minutes to build it from scratch. And what we are building is a template. So let us look um, about the task runner, uh, about Gulp. So we have um, Node.js, and then we have Bobo on top of it, and we have Gulp. And Gulp is extendable with plugins. So everything is extendable with plugins. That's great. So that's something we know about. Um, so what we are doing now. So I will not, I will not do the, the uh, boring parts. So the boring parts are. So that's our world I have built for you before. So we have Node.js and NPM installed. That's done. I have installed the Joomla. I have a very, very simple template. It's, it is a template, it's a bootstrap template. I just put some um, uh, Joomla text in it. 
that's all. Not really something complicated. It's a good, maybe it's a good starter for, for you. Um, and it's, it's, it's a repo you can, can grab it on my GitHub account. It's called simple. So. I'm personally not be, I'm personally not, not a big fan of all this, um, configuration options and templates. So I think we as developer built a template and the client should not really, um, be allowed to change if jQuery comes from CDN or local or what is the background color. I don't think a client should be able to do this. So what I do when I, when I build a template, I have, um, only a few options and not so much and mostly is coded and when it has to be changed, I change it. So that's the template when you are see it in, in, in a browser window and there is roughly no styling. So that's the content, uh, it comes out of, out of Joomla. So what are our next steps? So we, we install and configure Bovo, we install Gulp, we install some packages, and we will write the script. So let us start. See, that's the terminal. And uh, uh, I start with installing, installing uh, Bovo and install it globally. That's the G at the end. And it will take a bit of time, and, but then it's installed. I did this at home, so my internet connection was okay. Um, and that's installed um, Bova. So that was the first step. Next step. Now I'm looking what version I have installed. Um, you can search with Bova for packages. And now I search for Bootstrap for a bootstrap package. Um, you would see it runs through, there is a lot. So now I count how, much, how many um, uh, packages there are. Um, and you see it's 888 bootstrap packages. Normally it is a package at the top you need. So it's the first one in this case. So you need to find out what it is. So and, and now I install this. And it grabs the package from the repository and installs, installs the package. And you do Bovo, Bovo, install, bootstrap. Boop, done. Um, you see it's cached, validate, and it installed. And when we look at the directory, we see a new directory, uh, Bovo components. So we jump into this one, and uh, you see there's bootstrap and jQuery. So Bowen knows that um, Bootstrap depends on jQuery, so it grabs also jQuery and installs it for you. Um, I personally don't like the Bobo Components directory, so I deleted it now, and um, I'm at a small uh, configuration file, and you see uh, I also record my typos. Um, it's a Bobo NC, uh, Bobo RC file, and you can say what is the directory Bobo should put packages into. So I like it to have it in assets, Bova, but this comes to personal taste. You can let it as a default when you like this way. I like it this way, so and, it, and I can configure it. So I do configure it, yeah. When the typing is really slow, then I'm thinking about what is the next character I have to type. So to make not too much errors. Um, so now, um, there is also an in, in, in a configuration or, or a, uh, a file about what you're installing. There are a couple of uh, values in, but not really interested in this one. Um, that's a directory, but I have to init it because when I install something, then I will save it as dependency. In this case, the bootstrap, because I'm doing a lot more with, with, with all the files, um, it's okay when I save it as development dependency. I only need this for development. The template at the end I ship to the, to the clients don't need really this, um, these files. So as you see, there is a dev dependency in the dependencies bootstrap 3, 3, 4. 
that's it. So now we have um, installed Bootstrap. We have um, we have um, uh, we have jQuery. Um, we have a configuration file for Bova. So and now we are um, uh, installing a bit more because what I would like to do is I would show you two things. So um, in in terms of performance of a website, it's good you have one CSS file, one JavaScript file. So you need to combine and minify them. And all these this things uh, are possible with uh, Gulp. So, so I need to a bit more, some more um, packages to play with. So I installed from the where some modernizer. So, um, and now I'm um, creating some more directories, less and JS directory, go into this directory and create one file. So that's, and I, Call this then simple JS or simple CSS. And that's um, the final file where are all concatenations or where all the, all the custom stuff um, um, will be uh, in it. So I think that's it for this step. And now we go to the next step. Um, I changed the bash because the bash before was set shield and now it's uh, another. Okay, so um, next step is now installing Gulp also globally and it also takes a bit of time, and now there are uh, some more packages to install. Um, so, Gulp comes, or npm comes in this case, with um, also with a configuration file, and um, so I have to create an empty configuration file to save dependencies in the configuration file. So that's what I'm what I'm creating uh, there. Um, see again, gulp, safe development, and all the stuff, and it's going on, going on. So it takes a bit of time of installing. So the good thing uh, is, um, so I do this here from scratch. So if you do it the second time, you have your package JSON file, you have your BOA RC file, or your BOA JSON file. You have all these files already. So what you have to do is then uh, install. That's all. And all the packages are grabbed and installed at the right place as the um, actual version. So you don't need to look, oh, I need bootstrap. What's the actual version? So I have to grab it from the website and put it into a directory and copy it and all this stuff. So it's doing it's all this stuff doing for you. Ah, oh, maybe I should have learned some dancing for for the time. But um, so what we we'll see, or what, what's here, is that that's a minify, and uh, that's the last compiler for Gulp. Uh, minify CSS is scrim uh, makes the um, yeah, minifies the CMS. Auto prefixer is something that when you are uh, building CSS and some. Uh, some um, CSS3 things are not supported by some browsers. You can you have to use prefixes. So and you can say uh, to the auto prefixer, oh, I will have to add you. Uh, please add uh, for the last 20 versions of uh, browsers. Please add all the prefixes. So then you have only to use the I would say normal CSS um, uh, tag. And the other things are done for you without a prefix. So I think that is for installing GUP. So what did we do, done so far? So the first three. So we are now in uh, in the situation that we have to write the script. Okay. So um, for Bootstrap. Um, 
you see in yeah in this in, in this slide you can see it. So there's there's a distribution directory. Um, you can choose the already minified and and so on files if you don't have to change something. But I, what I do is is I, I grab the last file and the bootstrap last file here in this case and use this one and compile all the bootstrap um, uh, and don't use the distributed ones in this case. Um, so now we are now we are going to some uh, basic setting ups for the for the script. So um, you see here is is the package JSON file again. So you see what, what are the dependencies in this file. And um, now you have to set up um, some JavaScript variables. Um, the first thing is you have to instantiate a variable uh, called gulp. And it requires the package. So it takes some time. So there, um, Maybe I, I, I should add this. So the, one of the purposes of this presentation is that you, to show you that it's possible to do all this stuff within 30 minutes. So, um, so I could forward now, but then you would not see that it works. So there are some delays into, into the presentation. Um, Maybe I, I say a bit, bit more about, about the package. So concat is a package that concats files. It only puts this um, make this big sequence. Rimref is uh, essentially an outdated package. Um, it's used for um, for uh, deleting files. Um, less is a less compiler. Minify CSS is for minify CSS and auto prefix are um, I talked earlier about. So what I'm doing now is, is um, I'm making uh, um, making progress very uh, very fast, and um, the first thing I do now is, is write uh, it's a very simple uh, gulp task, and this gulp task is doing um, concatting the CSS files and save it in the right directory. Uh, yeah, I'm a good developer, so I'm, I'm make all that looks nice. Uh, and now, when it looks nice, we are come to the gulp task. So you start um, gulp with with gulp dot task, and then you that's a function in this case to define it. I give the function a name. The name is CSS, um, and then there is a closure, the function in it, and there is where the magic happens. So, compared to um, to Grunt, for example, I don't know if some people of you uh, know Grunt. Grunt is also a JavaScript task runner. What I like, and and, and I'm more uh, um, so uh, I work. I like to work on the command line. I'm used to to Unix and all the stuff. So. So I, I like I like the syntax of um, Gulp more. Grunt is more you configure everything, and Grunt uh, and Gulp is something here you have a um, source file, simple less, and then you pipe it into less function, and then you pipe it again into Gulp and source it. So for me, that's more the way of my thinking and understanding how it works than doing some configuration and blob. So, so and we are already done here. So I'm, um, I'm saving this now, this file, as um, gulp file js. And then we move to the command line. Oh, no, no, we don't move to the command line. Look, what am I doing now? Wow, crazy things. OK, now. So um, I thought uh, I, I told you already that um, we need to um, uh, do something that's uh, grabbing the packages, and uh, that's less. So I have uh, grabbing the bootstrap. I grab the font aware some less, um, and I'm creating always a custom less file, doing at the um, 
last um, the, as the last file into the import um, process uh, to do some customization. Nobody needs us for copying files and having the default settings. So um, the next thing we are doing now is, is to run the script. Easy. So that's a script. You see now it's also a bit marked, so you see what, what it is. So we go to the command line, and then we call gulp with a task name CSS, and boom, it runs. And it now has created um, a file. So, and when we go to to our um, site, we see it's now Bootstrap. So, I did, I did something behind the scenes. I included the uh, the simple um, CSS file I created there. So um, that was behind the scenes, but it's a normal. Uh, link tag, and that's not really so complicated. So I did, I did change because you have seen that there is a, uh, the not enough space for the Joomla. So I gave him some margin and co compiled it again. And now we are here. So as, a, as I said uh, about minification, so the next part, the next part of, uh, of the show is minify CSS. So, and there's no so much to do. So we have already installed the, um, the do, installed the, um, uh, the Gulp package for it. Um, we see the CSS is not minified. So when we go to the bottom, we see there is a margin top we added as custom. So that's, that's, uh, done. And the only thing we have to do now to minify the CSS is to find the right place and minify CSS it. So I pipe it in before I save it into minify CSS. I run the script again. It took a bit longer. Let me look now. It's minified. Boom. Not really a problem. So and now I try to to uh, show you that there is um, the margin uh, 60 pixels and it's not so easy to find the place because the one line is very long and I'm a bit confused and now I'm still confused and oh yeah hey, there is it oh come come on ah ah oh, yeah, yeah now it is so wow um, so you see there there is uh, this line I just this now. It still works. Magic. So now we do a bit, a bit more structure into, into our Gulp file. Um, so I, I will let this run and, and talk, just look at, at what, what I'm doing there. I, I will talk, talk over it and, and explain, explain a bit. Um, so, um, yeah, as I say, I'm a good developer, so I'm, I'm doing some, some variable settings and all the stuff. So, um, um, what I what I really like with Gulp, um, and um, you will see at the end we are ending up with eighty lines, eighty six lines. Um, what I like is that it's really easy to use, and um, you can also use. And Roberto, maybe um, um, I will not show it you uh, show it, but Roberto wrote a. Um, wrote uh, um, some packages with Gulp where you can do a lot of things and they are predefined. I cannot say really too much, too much about it because I did look at it. Why my thinking ab uh, about Gulp and all the stuff is it should help you to, um, in your daily work and if you understand what you are doing, and as I said, it's 86 lines, there's not so much to understand. Uh, if you understand this, you can reproduce it and 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 uh, use it every day. When you use it every day, then you can reproduce it and make it uh, without any big big problems. Um, when you go into some frameworks, you have to uh, to remember the framework, and the framework things are sometimes hiding things. Um, for Laravel, for example, there is a Lexier package. 
that is doing a lot of work when you're doing um, Angular and all the stuff. So, um, but I tried, uh, I tried to develop something on Angular and and uh, use also the Alexa package, and something didn't work. So I have to I have to debug all the package uh, to find out why it's not working. So it, essentially, at the end of the day, it was it was uh, a bug. So um, in my eighty in my eighty lines or eighty six lines of code I have here. There are not so many potential for having bugs. Um, you see there, I'm really recording my, my typos, and um, I had to edit this video to change this here, because it must be, must the name task must be a K, not a T. Um, uh, yeah, so um, what I'm doing now, so I'm, I'm, um, I like it when, when uh, to work on, on a clean environment. So. Um, I start with, with building a clean task, and what I'm doing there is I have uh, set up some target years where I put my, my files into it, and what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm um, uh, removing all the files in my target years, my CSS, my JS files, and there are some fonts uh, I'm also copy on uh, from the packages into, into directories. And so I clean up the mess I, I made before, so to be sure that that's, um, everything good and, and fine. And you see what you see very often is that you can can use here in this uh, group SRC, uh, you can give them a, a string then when you are have only one, and often you can give um, an array, um, and then you give, can give more. Or you, then you can give more than one file or one thing to do. So um, yeah, we are piping this and into clean. So clean is a function. Rim rough, I told you. Before, I apologize that I'm not uh, so good in typing and so fast. Um, uh, so the next the next task I'm I'm uh, doing now is uh, to copy fonts, and um, also the same thing function. Do, 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 do. Any questions since this moment? <laughs> yeah. I'm no in this case. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm little. I'm I'm not. So um, um, I'm. I have a Git repository, and what I do, and I I'm using Gulp for this also. So Gulp has a symlink package. So and I'm, um, I clone my repository somewhere on my on my uh, hard disk, and then I write a very small gob script to make a zip link from my repository to the template folder and call this the name of the template. So that's what I what I'm doing. So um, yes, I'm working in the template folder, but I'm also not working into the template folder. So that are copy fonts. More questions? Okay, I think that for, for the next presentation, I, I, I need some some fast forward. So that's that's running 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 fa running a bit faster. Yeah. This one keynote needs uh, had needed the other way around, uh, I think yesterday. But okay, so um, what I what I usually do in this case is here is I, I copy the CSS here, the CSS um, um, task, and make a development task because when I'm when I'm doing development, I'm not minifying the CSS. So that's so the two. So I'm I'm copy this. Yes, I, it, it's not really, don't repeat yourself, I know, but it works, and, and it's the easy way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it. So what you, what you need to default, or when you, uh, what you need to do, you need to default task um, uh, when you will run gulp, only gulp and not with a task name. So when you run gulp on the command line, 
and you don't give them a ta uh, give, give a task name, then it runs the default task. So the default task um, has, you can, I hope you can see this here, um, it has also uh, some dependencies. And when you see there's clean and there's copy fonts, so um, before I run all the other scripts, in this case, um, the CSS, group start CSS, then I will do clean and copy fonts before. That's what I will do. Okay? You see, it's we are now at 48 lines. Yeah. Good. Yeah, saved. So, so we are we are really we are almost done with with the CSS part. So we have minifying this. We can do it for development, and uh, now we come to JavaScript. Um, so what I, what I again the scripture you see too, but but now I copied it in. So. Um, what you can see now here, I, I, I build a, um, an array with, with scripts in the direction I will minify them or concat them. So I will start with Bootstrap, jQuery, Modernizer, and then I, at the last, I will use my, my uh, simple JS. So when I, while I'm here, I forget to, to change this one to, to the variable, and I'm doing it now so that we are using what we are. Um, uh, had set up. Um, so now we are um, adding this also to the, the uh, to our to the default task, um, so that we are merge our scripts. So for production, we do four steps: we clean up our mess, copy fonts, um, make the CSS, and merge the scripts. That all. So, and I think I will, will tell you something you, maybe a, a problem you can come into when you do copy things and all the stuff and, and uh, if you look at this, what we see here, then you can see there is a clean task running and it's finished. There's a copy task running and it's finished. Then we starting default. CSS, that was the first in our array, starting. Merge script, the second in our array, and it's finished before CSS. So it fires all the tasks. It's not really doing it in a sequence. So when you are need a situation where you're depending on something, then you uh, have to look at it and make it a dependency that it runs before. So that's a, uh, something you can fall into and, and be a bit con confused about it, but you need to know that there are f all the tasks are, when you are in, in the start task, they are fired. So, and at some point they are finished. So that's good for performance. So why something is running in parallel and, 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 um, so it's doing a good job in this case. Um, so we concatenated all the all the um, JavaScript files, and um, essentially, I'm I hate JavaScript. <laughs> I have to say this, and I and I really tried tried oh years over years to 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 come uh, to go this way or this way, not to do JavaScript thing. So. But uh, I think in this world, at this day, so you are, we lost. Oh, so I lost. So I have to do JavaScript. So, so I th I really like this ugly fi JavaScript. Um, it's it's minifying uh, JavaScript. So and uh, also here behind the scenes, I installed this gulp uh, gulp package uh, ugly fi, and you see um, there is my merge script. And uh, I pipe this to Uglify and that's all. 
And when I then run the script, um, it's uglifying this. And now I think I will show you the script. Yes, da -da. so you see it's also a minified JavaScript. It's all files. Yeah? All files I had there now into this JavaScript. So we, um, I think we had two goals. So we, we, um, we minified and uh, concatenated JavaScript and, and CSS. Great. So, but how can this help with development? So we, now we have created a process of doing all this boring stuff. And I will show you now um, Watcher and more. And so I added a bit more of code. I marked the, I marked the lines. I had a notify, browser thing, and, and reload. Um, I... Come on. Does it run? Oh, okay. It wasn't running. Sorry. Um, so I added notify browser thing and reload. Two packages. Notify for notifying something and browser thing is, I will show you. That's the only really live part. Um, so what you see here uh, at the bottom is that I um, so when when an error in in the last compilation happens, then the script failed and it's over. So that's not really good when you are continuous working on something. So um, here it's it's um, shows the errors on the console and uh, runs uh, let it run. And here I added a watcher task and. That's a gulp function, it's watch. And I say, okay, every file in my last directory, what is called less, when there is a change, please run my CSS dev task. And every time something in the GS directory changed, run my merged script. Here's a dependency for the watcher, it's connect. And there's a connect thing. So, and now we are into demo, and now I have to type. So, my typing mistakes now are live. So, let us move to, to the command line. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, you can see it. So, good watch. So, it's starting good watch. It had started in browser, but I don't need this. Probably not. So, and what I'm doing now here is background color red done warp. Do you have seen this? So you don't need you don't need to to go to your browser and uh, type uh, reload and all the stuff. So it's done for you. So what your task is running, looking at your files when you do a change, then it's, it runs the script. You have automated everything. So everything is okay. So you see uh, you see the uh, changes directly. Um, what you can do with this, there is an uh, here you can see this. There is an you can local host lo this local host here, but you can access this over a network. So, and when you have a, a phone, for example, you can connect your phone to your browser thing. It's 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 loading a small JavaScript file. And then your phone is also synced. And if you have a tablet or have something, if you can put 
tens of, of computers around you and uh, all connected to them and you can see live what's happened. Maybe a crazy feeling when you are doing something, but whatever. Um, that, that's an uh, UI to control the browser. Browser, browser uh, the, it's, it's uh, an admin, uh, admin um, access to the browser uh, sync um, package. So you need the, only the, this one for rework. Go up. Sorry. Um, so I'm running out of time a bit. Does that work? Okay, cool. Um, so, I, when you take something out of this presentation, and um, I hope you do, the first thing you should, it's really easy. So it's, it's I, I didn't, uh, I don't know if we, someone can remember, it was 86 lines of, of, of code, and there were some, some uh, empty lines in it. So if I string it a bit, bit more than, than it's maybe 80 or 75 lines of code. There's not really so much to know and no so much to remember. So take it easy and use it. So it is easy. Take it easy. Start using it. I hope you do. It makes your life easier. It let you not do all the boring things again and again, um, and it's it's fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, then find me and ask me. So I think we are on five, 45 minutes now, and so I would stop now. Thank you very much.